It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Wednesday, the 29th of March. I'm James Spam, getting set for an active weather day tomorrow and tomorrow night with a chance of strong to severe storms. Another chance of severe weather early next week. Must be late March and early April in Alabama. Let's dive in and see if we can answer your questions. We'll start with the current setup here. This is the water vapor satellite view. Large scale trough west of the state. And we got active convection out ahead of that west of Alabama. And it's a warm day today, mostly low 80s on the board. Birmingham 82 at mid-afternoon. Around the nation, we're pretty much the warmest spot in the country. It's cooler back across the high plains, rather seasonal for late March. There's the watch warning map around the nation. Got some wind issues in the western states and a tornado watch for parts of southeast Texas and southwest Louisiana until 9 o'clock tonight. That's part of a zone of severe weather that's likely from Louisiana northward up through Arkansas into Missouri. We have an enhanced risk in that zone. And again, that's for this afternoon and tonight. The higher tornado probabilities are actually over parts of Arkansas and Missouri later today and tonight. We'll keep an eye on things there. But, of course, our focus is on tomorrow and tomorrow night. This is the day two severe weather outlook. Risk of severe storms from the Gulf Coast up to uh, Indianapolis, almost Chicago. In Alabama, this is the uh, setup. Not much change in the update here. This is uh, uh, showing a, a moderate risk, Category 4, over the northwestern corner of the state, parts of Franklin, Colbert, Lauderdale counties. An enhanced risk uh, down to Huntsville, Carbon Hill, and Gordo. The standard slight risk uh, up for Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden, Montgomery. Then a marginal risk, the darker green on to the east. And, of course, we'll talk about this in detail in just a moment. But the probabilities are very high here in the uh, day two outlook. The, that's a 45 percent circle in that moderate risk area. And, and like we talked about this morning, that basically means about a 50-50 chance of severe weather within 25 miles of a given point over North Mississippi and West Tennessee in that zone. Day three, this is Friday. Everything's quiet here, a marginal risk well to the east. Rain for the next seven days, big numbers, rain amounts between two and five inches for much of the state. This is actually suggesting some of the heavier totals near the Gulf Coast. So let's dive in here and take a look. Here's the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock. Negative tilt, upper trough. Underneath that, a surface low is just northeast of St. Louis. And obviously, the synoptic setup is favorable for severe weather. But often, as we discuss here, much depends on the mesoscale, the small-scale features. So this is 10 o'clock tomorrow morning off the high-res NAM, 3-kilometer grid resolution, a good dependable model, and it shows nothing. Other models have shown a massive storms coming through in the morning. I mean, this shows nothing at all. Uh, and if we do see some storms in the morning, that obviously could mitigate the severe weather risk later in the day and tomorrow night. But if this is right, we have nothing going on. Let's go to 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And again, uh, really, there's just not much happening. Just a few showers near the Gulf Coast, but no big MCS type setup down there to cut us off. And severe storms are forming pretty rapidly over North Mississippi and West Tennessee, and those could be severe. And uh, some of those could produce uh, large hail, damaging wind, and a few tornadoes. And then by 7 o'clock, uh, it moves into northwest Alabama. So, uh, again, uh, this again the NAM here, the high-res NAM, showing no morning convection, no mass on the Gulf Coast to disrupt things. Uh, other models have shown that, but this one does not. Let's check some of the severe weather parameters. This is the low-level jet tomorrow evening at 7. The winds are screaming 5,000 feet off the ground, over 60 knots. And that's obviously favorable for severe weather. Storm relative helicity values are highest up again, up in northwest Alabama, favorable for some rotating updrafts. Significant tornado parameters, same thing, 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. Looks like the max is around Pickens and Fayette counties and but that whole zone there uh, over the northwestern and west central part of the state is where the higher values will be. We'll check the updraft helicity product. And this is showing a max up through uh, uh, Franklin and Marion and Colbert County. So clearly the highest tornado threat is going to be over far west and northwest Alabama. Uh, and uh, as you work your way south and east, the tornado threat diminishes. The main issues become hail and strong straight line winds. Here's a uh, 
forecast sounding. And this is over in uh, Pickens County uh, tomorrow evening, 7 o'clock. And again, that's uh, looking at the hodograph there, the uh, directional shear. It just looks like a, a, a setup for the possibility of a tornado. So, uh, th- again, this is what we've got. Uh, uh, the main risk uh, late tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night. Obviously, the higher tornado probabilities are over the northwestern part of the state. And, again, as you work your way in the slight risk, the, 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 the chance becomes more straight-line winds and hail, although you can't rule out the chance of a tornado there. And based on some of the parameters, there might be a strong tornado in that enhanced or moderate risk zone. Maybe long track. Well, this is going to come during the peak of the daytime heating process when the air is most unstable. So needless to say, it's all hands on deck for this thing, and we'll see how it plays out. Friday, we are in dry air. Sky should be sunny. High Friday will be in the 70s. Beautiful day. Same thing Saturday. We start the day around 50. Colder pockets go in the 40s. And uh, the latest guidance coming in, a smidgen warmer. This is suggesting we might see highs in excess of 80 on Saturday, and the same thing on Sunday. But the next wave already getting its act together to the west, and this is Monday of next week, April 3rd, again, a negative tilt trough, surface low near Memphis, and that would be a setup for strong to severe storms Monday, and maybe even starting late Sunday night. So the wave train is cranking them out. The hits keep on coming. Tuesday, we're in a dry slot, and this is Wednesday, a week from today. I got a trough axis just north and west of the state, but again, we're in a dry slot uh, at that point. Here's the end of the forecast period, Saturday, April 8th, troughing over the uh, East Coast. And again, we're just uh, dry and pleasant, if that's right. And the numbers, nothing exceptional here. Highs, generally speaking, in the 70s and lows mostly in the 50s, although some mornings will probably wind up in the 40s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.